Hey everybody, it's Jorick. Welcome back to Portrait From Beyond. I hope you're having a really good day. If you're returning, thank you so much for supporting me. I really appreciate it. If you're new, consider subscribing to get more information about Portugal life and European travel as we do it. Today I want to talk about Portugal and I want to get right to it on a train strike that's going to be happening this week at the making of this video. I want to give you a couple of dates so that if you're in Portugal right now and seeing this video or if you're going to be coming in, I want to make sure that you're aware of this. So Porto is going to have a train strike at the making of this video, which is tomorrow, which would be Monday, May 23rd, from 5 a.m. to 8.30 a.m., so a morning strike on Monday morning. So within Porto, trains are probably not going to be running, or they may only be running at, let's say, 10 or 20 percent. And then on Friday, May 27th, here in Lisbon, from 5 to 9 p.m., so evening, the metropolitan trains are not going to be running. It doesn't mean 100% are going to be stalled, but it means that anywhere, most of them will not be running. We've lived here in Portugal for two and a half years. It's a way of life, especially in the spring, summer, and fall. Strikes of various natures seem to take place across many industries. And the rail system seems to strike fairly often. So it's just a way of life here. Kind of have to get used to it if you are living in Portugal. But I want to make sure that you're aware of this. I'm going to try my best this year when I'm doing the channel to make sure I'm giving you updates on any type of public transportation strikes in Portugal. If there's any major ones going on in Europe that I am finding out about that might impact travel for you, I'm going to share those as well. I will say, and I've mentioned this in prior videos, if you're going to be moving to Portugal or you're going to be spending a fair amount of time in the summer on a holiday or vacation here, you're going to have strikes. You're just going to have to kind of work through that. Train strikes seem to be the most prevalent of the, the railway system, whether it be the full country or within certain urban areas, mostly Lisbon and Porto. There have been some airline related strikes where there's been delays or cancellations because of that. There are bus strikes. I, I found them to be less rare or more rare. That didn't sound right. More rare than train strikes. So if you're going to look for a mode of transportation between bus and railway or train, I would probably elect to get bus tickets because there's a greater likelihood that that's going to happen without a cancellation as opposed to the railway or using a train. If you're just staying in Lisbon or Porto, whether it be this week or down the road, you can always taxi, Uber or Bolt or use your feet to get around. As always, thank you so much for checking out my channel. I'm hoping I'm giving you useful information that you can use or think about as you're planning a trip or planning a move. As always, thank you much for watching. Greatly appreciate you and enjoy your travels. Hey, thanks so much for watching the full video. If you get a chance, and if you're interested in reading some crazy workplace stories, please check out my two books, Magnet of Badness, Volume 1 and Volume 2, both available on Amazon in ebook or soft cover. If you want to make fun of me, there's plenty of stories where you can do that. If you want to make yourself feel better about the job that you're in, It'll make you feel better too. But uh, crazy stuff that happened over 30 years, you won't believe it until you read it. So thank you so much for watching. And if you get a chance, pick up a copy of one of these on Amazon. Thank you so much.